I'm going to make my best ever stir fry brown sauce. Okay? Get down. Get a puppy. So, so you could get sauces in a jar. You could, you could make your own sauce. But this is what I love. I'm going to make some seared ahi tuna today. And I'm going to, I'm going to make this brown sauce. And this goes great with stir. If you're just going to make Chinese stir fry, vegetables, chicken, beef, pork, whatever. This sauce is fantastic. So I'm going to show you how I make it. And then I'm going to just put it away. All right. Uh, the main star is going to be the soy sauce and the hoisin sauce. Both of these are gluten free. All right. So you go to Wegmans and Wegmans has uh, a little G on it. And the little G stands for gluten free. And then obviously this says right on it gluten free. Okay. So this is going to be gluten free uh, Chinese stir fry sauce. And let's start. Put some, uh, some garlic in there. That's good. Put this away. Some ginger. Fresh ginger. Comes in a little tube. Now, I don't always add uh, lemongrass, but if I have lemongrass, I'll add it because lemongrass has a nice flavor to it. So we'll add some lemongrass. A little uh, fish sauce. That's good. A little fish sauce in there. Gives it a little flavor. We got our uh, brown sugar. I like to use dark brown sugar. This is light. This is light brown sugar. That's okay. Put in there. Oh, so there you go. A little brown sugar. Uh, this is uh, Mike's Hot Honey. Oh boy. This has, uh, this is uh, honey, vinegar, and chili peppers. But I'm going to tell you right now, these are habanero peppers that are in here. So this is got a nice flavor to it. Oh, there you go. Okay, so there we go. So, so I got all these herbs in here. Oh, and then to make it spicy again, I use some uh, Korean uh, gugaching. This is, uh, once again, from Wegmans, and it's gluten-free, which is hard to find. This is usually not gluten-free. There you go, that's good. Okay. So, I'm gonna throw, uh, this is cilantro, and I'm gonna cut these stems in little pieces, and I'm gonna throw that in there. So I don't know if everybody does this, but cilantro has so much flavor, uh, I use these stems. I put these stems in there. These are gonna get cooked off anyways, but it adds a lot, a lot of nice flavor. All right, so this is my Wegmans hoisin sauce, and it's gluten-free, which is awesome. It's awesome that they have so many gluten-free products, and that it's labeled with a G right on the bottle. All right, so let's go one, two, three. All right, three scoops, three spoons of this. I'll leave that there because I'm going to stir with it. And then I got my green onions. Let's set my cutting board. Give this some nice cuts. Together. I want I want all the, the oils and the flavors to come out of it so I'm gonna cut it up real good so that there's a lot of surface area for these flavors to blend together and for the flavors to come out of the tips all right so I got these 
chopped. I got these chopped tips. Everything that's on my cutting board, I'm going to put in here. All right. So all we got left is our soy sauce. Take this off and fill this up with soy sauce. Fill it all the way up to the top with soy sauce. All right, that's good. All right, so stir this up. And remember, this is gluten-free. All, everything is gluten-free soy sauce, gluten-free hoisin sauce, gluten-free spicy Korean goku chigga chigga sauce, all gluten-free. And I'm just gonna stir this up real good. And now uh, I'm just gonna let this sit. I'm gonna let all these flavors just marinate. So they're just gonna all blend together. And this right here, I'm telling you right now, this right here is the best ever Asian brown sauce. It is incredible. The flavor is unbelievable. All right, so usually at a Chinese restaurant, they make a brown sauce. And then they like, oh, they're gonna make garlic sauce. They have more garlic, they have more sugar. They do this, they do that. So this is just a base brown sauce. And, you know, if I was uh, doing a stir fry, I would add a bunch of cornstarch to it so we're thicken it up. But I just let this sit. I'm gonna let this sit in the fridge and I'm gonna let all these flavors just kind of blend together, all the oils, everything's gonna blend together. And then I'm gonna use this tonight but you could use this multi-purpose. You could use this on pork chops, you could use this on chicken, you could use this on beef, you could use this on shrimp. You can use this on anything, anything you want. This is just fantastic. So there you go, there it is. I'm gonna be making these beautiful ahi tuna steaks tonight. They're gonna to be seared, raw in the middle, seared on the outside. So first thing I'm gonna do as uh, I have a video up already, how to make my best ever brown sauce. So I'm gonna put spoon that over the top here, whisk it around, or brush it on, get on the sides, flip it over, get on the sides, flip it over, and then put some on this side. And then this I'm going to use on my bok choy. I got petite bok choy. All right, so now mix this around. There we go. Okay, so now we got our we got our best ever brown sauce on. This is uh, wasabi. So I got some wasabi here. I'm going to put some wasabi on this side. Put it on there. And spread it around real nice. Put some on this side. Now whatever whatever is left in this plate, when I finish this up, I'm gonna pour over on the in the frying pan. I'm gonna pour it over the top of it. So here we go. Alright, so we got our wasabi on there. We got our best ever brown sauce, and then we got our wasabi put right on. Oh, that's good stuff. Wow, what a flavor. All right, so I got some white sesame seeds. I got some black sesame seeds. Let's put these down. I don't know, nice portion of them. What's going on here? Right, take one of our tunas and put all this on it, tip it on the sides, we're going to crust this up real nice with our 
black and white sesame seeds. Crust it all the way around. So I got a nice toasted flavor. some more black sesame seeds, put down some more white sesame seeds, ahi tuna, So we got these nice, they're crusted up real nice with the black and white sesame seeds. So have, we got those there and we're going to save this, put that sauce on and let's, uh, let's go ahead and start our grills and get everything cooked up. Okay, let's get these, uh, let's get these started, All right? So I'm going to, I'm going to spray a, I'm going to spray a nonstick spray on both these pans. And I'm going to put down, I got some uh, some sesame oil. This one's going to be for my fish. This one's going to be for my bok choy. Let's go ahead and turn this on. Turn this on. Get my spatula. And then let this get nice and hot. Okay, this is getting this is getting hot. This is getting hot. This is for my bok choy over here. So I'm gonna put I got some uh, some ginger paste for my bok choy. Put a little garlic on my bok choy. Let's get that spread around with our sesame oil. You see this is getting nice and hot. There you go, that looks good. All right, this is my, my awesome ultimate uh, brown sauce, Asian brown sauce. I'm gonna put some of this over the bok choy. Well, actually, I gotta I can put the bok choy in here first, and then I'll put some of that over the top of it. Let it cook off a little bit. All right. So there we got some bok choy there. And just let this cook. Render all down. Now this is nice and hot. That is nice and hot. So we can start searing our ahi tuna. So I got my ahi tuna here. Put that there. Put that one there. Oil around. This is on high, so we're gonna sear that all up. This is starting to, this is starting to wilt down from the heat. This is our petite bok choy. Rinsed it. Sometimes it's sandy, so I rinse it with cold, cold water. All right. So now what I could do here is I could. I could put some of this awesome brown sauce on here. This stuff is just fantastic. All right, put that right on top. And then go ahead and stir it all up so it gets everywhere. All 
All right, and we just leave that. I got a lid to put on there, and that'll that'll help it cook better. So I got that out of there. By the time I get this all flipped over and ready, all right. So you can see this is searing up one side. Oh, there you go. And now I got it searing up the other side. Here's that sauce I was talking about. Just put that right on top. Before I take it off, I'll, I'll give it a nice flip. This bok choy is perfect. I'm gonna turn that off and just let it sit here and breathe. All right, time to flip this again. That looks good. Oh my goodness. That looks good. All right, turn that off and that's ready. I got my plate. Okay, I got some, I got some uh, rice. Get my bok choy up here. One more piece. That looks fantastic. Everything's turned off. Put my ahi tuna up here. And now, the sauce goes right on top. There you go, just like that. A nice dredging of the sauce right over the top of it. Let's see how it's cooked. Oh, everything's turned off. Oh, look at this. Look at how perfectly seared that is. Oh. Mmm. Oh. So good. You gotta try this. Delicious.